it's Coach Devin with Cheer HQ and welcome to our at-home conditioning workout for cheerleaders. Today we have a no equipment, full body workout. I have a weight sitting here. I don't actually need it for this workout. I just needed to hold down the papers from the wind. Um, so grab your water bottle, make sure you have some room to spread out and let's get started. The setup of today's workout is in three sets. Each set consists of three different exercises that will each work a different part of the body. So our arms, our core, our legs, and our glutes. So I've tried to spread it out so that each set of three exercises contains one of each. See if I did great at that. So let's get started. We'll be doing work in 30 second intervals and then we'll take a 15 second break in between and we'll do each set three times through. All right, our very first exercise today is a seated shoulder press. So go ahead and sit on your mat or wherever you are. Legs out in front of you in a pike, hands by your seat. And what we're gonna do is simply push up off the ground through our shoulders. So what we're really working on uh, pushing through the floor to try to lift ourselves up. Ready, go. So lift up, two, three, and then we'll drop it down, two, three. And back up, two, three, drop it down, two, three. So we'll keep that up for our full 30 seconds. So this exercise is great for flyers, for building up our shoulder endurance as we're lifting ourselves into our load positions. And also through a lot of our tumbling with our handstands, our hand springs, building up that shoulder work. Go ahead and take a break. We have 15 seconds break. Our next exercise is our squat jump. So feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat and explode. And that's what we're doing. Ready, go. The squat jump wears me out really fast, but it's one of my favorite exercises. I think it's one of the most beneficial because the squat and this explode motion is used all across cheerleading. Bases need it, back spots need it, flyers need it to power through that stand or in their basket tosses. We really need to work on building up those caps for our jumps and for our tumbling. Good, and rest. All right. Our last one will change each time. So this first time through, we'll do a hollow hold. So as you lay down on your mat, hollow. Ready? Go. So really think about squeezing your glutes together, squeezing your legs all the way through, pointing your toes. Your shoulder blades should be off the ground. Squeeze those arms in nice close at your side. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is important. You got five seconds left. You're doing great. Three, two, one. <laughs> and you made it through your first round. So we'll do that whole set two more times. You have five more seconds. Kind of shake it out. Get ready for those shoulder presses again. Ready? Go. so much as you're doing it. It's unlikely we're gonna get to the end and you'll be like, ah, I can't lift anymore. But this is one that kind of builds up over time. So you'll probably feel it tomorrow. Three, two, one, good. Back to those squat jumps. Get my mat all cleaned off. All right, we have five seconds and then we'll go. And go and explode. So really make sure that as you land these, you're rolling through your toes. Absorb, get a nice low squat. If you just start jumping like this, you're not gonna get the same work in. Keep going. 10 seconds left. You'll notice I put squat jumps in almost every workout and rest. If you need water, grab water at any time. All right, five seconds into our hollow holds. Let's go ahead and get down and hold. Now you will 
most often see our hollow hold or think of using a hollow hold in a layout or something like that. It's also extremely important for bases. Bases, when you're lifting in the air, this helps build that core strength so that you're not arching your back and straining your back muscles as you lift. Two, one, woo! Great job, we have one more round through. Again, grab a drink whenever you need it. Oh, I'm gonna hope I don't get bit by ants today. Okay, shoulder presses, last round. Ready, go. come down. All right, last round of squat jumps. All right, three, two, one. Give it everything you've got for this last set. Really think about exploding. Push through your toes on the way up. Don't just, hey, really try to get some height in there. Don't worry, keep going. Five, four, two, one. All right, we have a minute rest here. Grab some water, take a breather. No, we don't. We have hollow hold, dang it. Ready? 
go. Now this doesn't need to be this big dramatic motion. Just a nice little pulse here at the bottom. As you're doing this, think about rotating your leg back just a little bit, or at least keeping your toes up, top of your foot up towards the sky. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Back to those V-ups for round two. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Lost my computer for a second. Okay, V-ups, ready? Go. Up. As you get stronger with these, try to do a hollow hold and lift from there rather than pushing off with your legs. Squeeze. Seated leg lifts, we'll do left leg this time. Ready? Go. And it's totally okay on this one to lean back a little bit. Especially if your hip flexors are still working on the flexibility there. That lean back is a big help. All right, seven seconds left. Three. Two, one, good. All right, last round through. Back to those V-ups. I don't know about you, my abs are really starting to get sore. Power through, you can do it. If you're not sore, you're not getting stronger. Ready, go. And up, and up. Now check what you're doing. Make sure that you're not lifting one foot at a time. Really try to lift both at the same time. As you're down in that hollow, make sure your back isn't lifting off the ground and arching. Squeeze in, rotate your hips. Oh, I didn't breathe on that one. Keep going, one more. Woo! Okay, last round of lunges. All right, I know for next time, the angle of this computer Terrible angle, the sun's going right in my eyes. All right, three, two, one, let's go. And squat, or lunge. Ah! Now your lunges help with your leg strength, with your basing. It really helps with your hurdles for your tumbling. And getting that nice explosion of power that you need to get power um, for your pass. Flyers also helps you work on using that power to step up into your stunts. All right, seated leg lifts, we'll do 15 seconds one way and then 15 seconds with the other leg. You start with either leg, whichever one you'd prefer. I'm gonna start with my right. Ready, go. Now remember, doesn't need to be a major, just a little pulse. Little pulse. Don't forget to point your toe. And switch, other side.
our last round.
side like we need for our hurdler or for our toe tuck. So let's keep our arms in our T. Kick your leg behind your hand. Right side first. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Back. One, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Clean. Good. And other side. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Back. One, two, three, six, eight, nine, ten. Clean. Perfect timing. Okay. Two exercises left. Plank shoulder taps and then those hip raises. You can do it. Ready? Two, one. Shoulder taps, let's go. One. Make sure on this also that your butt isn't up in the air or sinking down. Keep it nice and parallel. Abs are here to help with that. Five, four, power through, two, one. Last 30 seconds of work. You've made it. Don't give up now. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds left. Two, one. Let's go. And pop. Keep it going, you can do it. Even if you aren't there yet, this motion is great for tumbling, like your tucks, but it's also fantastic for your jumps. Learning how to use your abs to help lift your legs. Three, two, one. <gasps> you made it. You made it through our at-home cheer conditioning workout. And I'm so proud of you. If you liked it, if you felt like you got a good workout today, please, please, please subscribe, share it with your teammates, share it with your coach, share it with your friends. I look forward to seeing you guys all back here next time for our next cheer workout. See you soon.